Hello everyone, welcome back. I am so happy that you continue to watch my videos and I'm hoping that I am posting topics that are of interest to you and that make a difference in your life and for your family and for your child with autism. I decided to start a series, probably the next three, four videos. Those are gonna be about physical activity and I am not innately a very physical person, but I tell you, since I turned 40 and um, I've had my son, it has transformed my life and I've done things and participated in events that I never thought that I would, sports related. So physical activity for kids with autism is extremely important. For my son, it has been extremely important. Um, this is going to be, um, about one of the attempts that we did that, you know, spoiler alert, didn't quite work as well, but it was worth the try. Um, we did put our son into a soccer team at a very early age, maybe he was about four. Um, did not pan out to be what we thought it was going to be as South Americans, both my husband and I. Um, in the culture itself, there's a lot of um, excitement and dreams about maybe the boys playing soccer. And maybe that's why we chose soccer to be the first attempt at introducing him to sports. I tell you, when he was very little, uh, right around the time of the diagnosis, I couldn't understand, but he just wasn't interested in anything related to watching sports, practicing sports. Um, even took a while for him to learn which was a soccer ball versus a basketball versus a football, which normally a typical kid catches on very, very early. But for him, the magic came as far as sports go when he got his Wii game. Once he got the Wii sports, that kid was so interested. And that's probably right around the time that we got him into the YMCA local team by our house. Um, the experience with the organization, the YMCA was great. We didn't have a problem there. Um, my husband volunteered to be the coach and my brother-in-law as well. So it was all fun and games. We had a nice cute little t-shirt and uniform and socks. Um, and um, it was outdoors. It was in the heat, in the sunlight, it just, was not the best environment for him. Um, he didn't really seem to show an interest in playing with the other kids and in uh, understanding what the game was all about. Um, sometimes he might catch the ball and he might kick the ball because he had pretty, you know, a lot of good motor skills to actually play the game. He had a mean left kick. Um, that he could kick into the goal. He just wasn't interested. Sometimes it would catch him walking the line on the field, sitting down. Um, sometimes the sun would bother him so much that he might start a crying or a tantrum. So it just wasn't very successful. So from that point on, we thought, well, maybe it's not worth our time and their time to put him into another season. So we found um, an organization called Miracle League and they had teams in an indoor facility. It was a very large facility. They divided everything up into smaller fields and he ended up playing two seasons there. Now Miracle League is for kids of different ability. They're, they might have different abilities than he did. Um, he was fully functioning, but he just wasn't very much into the sport itself. Now, once he was put into the team with the other kids, we kind of had the other issue um, to the extreme because once he got the ball, he would kick the ball into the goal. And sometimes he would kick the ball into the goal eight times and he wouldn't let the other kids participate. So when my husband was the coach, he would sit him down, let the other kids play, and then once in a while put him in because once he got that ball, he wouldn't pass it to anybody. He would just keep scoring. And if you go to my YouTube channel, if you go to my playlists, there is a playlist called Remembering Our Story. And I put a couple of uh, cute videos there for you to watch if you wanna see you know, him in action on, in the soccer field. So that's a little extra there. So for Miracle League, we, we played a couple of seasons. Um, it was all well and good, but again, it, wasn't, it was to the other extreme. And um, so we ended up finding one more 
try one more season where he was with typical kids, but kids that were in the age group below his age group. So he was the tallest kid, but emotionally, I believe they got along well because they were about the same. Um, it was a good experience. He wasn't extremely interested in it, so we decided to go and try other things. But I'm glad we tried. He had a great time. His dad was the coach. The other um, parents appreciated my husband coaching their kids, and you know, it was very competitive. So they would, you know, really enjoy uh, scoring their goals and and making their mark. So it was a great experience. I encourage you um, to try and see what sports might fit with your child. I know every child is different, but if I can leave you with three thoughts, one is it's worth the try. It's worth getting them out there, getting uh, them to do something physical because we have seen in our son how much he can focus once he runs or does swimming or whatever physical activity prior to sitting down and learning. So that daily portion of exercise is extremely important. And if your son integrates into a team sports, that much better. Ours, unfortunately, the team sport wasn't for him. So we kind of moved on from there and we tried different things. Something else that I would encourage you to do is communicate with the coach, maybe ahead of time. I know it's a fine line. It is difficult for me sometimes to decide, do I tell them, do I not tell them about autism? And I've done both, done it both ways. Um, but depending on whether it's your first try and if the child is apprehensive about going in and playing in a team, maybe that's the time that it warrants a conversation with the coach ahead of time to set the right expectations. And what do you expect for your child and what does the coach expect from your child to the team? But try it. Give it a try, and I think that um, for anything, right? Um, I know that the third thing is feeling proud of seeing your child interacting with others and doing something physical, even though they might not be a soccer star or might ever get, um, you know, into the sport itself. Uh, the physical activity and the fact that they're going to learn so many little things doing that sport that is going to make you feel so proud and uh, it's going to feel like they won an Olympic medal. That's how I felt. So thank you for watching. I hope you come back and watch a few of the other videos. We're going to talk about tennis and what we did. We're going to talk about uh, karate, swimming, and triathlons. So stay tuned and see you next time. Thanks everyone.